In this video, we're talking about hard drives. What is it? What is the difference between a hard disk drive and a solid state drive or an M.2? What do these numbers mean and what is best for you as a creative professional? If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser and you're watching Don't Tech With Me, the place to get the latest tech news and tech terms demystified. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. So technically, it is a type of storage component. That is a hard drive. It is a hard disk drive, an HDD, which has a spinning disk and an arm that reads the information, and we'll explain more of that in just a minute. And, or it is a solid state drive, an SSD, which is a direct contact to the information. There's no moving disk, there's no arm, it just reads and writes straight off of the drive, similar to a, say, a thumb drive or a flash drive. But then underneath solid state drives, we have SATA, M.2, NVMe, PCIe. What do these terms mean and what is the best for you and your computer or laptop? Let's dive in. So a common misconception, let's clear this up right off the bat. I see this a lot on my other channel, Benji Kaiser. More gigabytes or terabytes make for a faster storage drive and system. And by system, I mean laptop or computer, desktop computer. Now that is a yes and no answer. And here is why. The size of your storage unit has nothing to do with its speed. So by having more gigabytes or terabytes, you're not increasing your speed like you would with a RAM uh, with RAM, so with memory. So memory, RAM, is used to quickly retrieve the information to run your computer. So it's going to quickly store the information needed to open Premiere Pro. It's going to quickly store the information to open Google Chrome and for you to start searching in web browsers. If you're curious about all the in-depth intricacies of RAM, you can check out the other video I've made in the YouTube cards above. Whereas storage is where it's storing all of your files. It's storing the programs for long-term use. It's storing your video files or your photo files, whatever it might be on your computer. So it does not technically make your computer faster by having more RAM. However, as a storage unit begins to fill up, it will start to slow down because it's getting less and less room and there's less ability for it to work as fast. So the more room means the slower it will fill up and run at its intended speed for a longer period of time. So will it innately improve your speeds? No, but could it over time as your drive fills up slow down? Yes. So that's why people often go for bigger drives or they store most of their files on a separate drive that they run their operating system. You've seen setups with you know SSDs as a main boot drive and then a hard disk drive as a storage drive. That's because they wanna keep their main drive where their computer boots from, where their operating system is and a lot of their programs are on a drive that does not fill up and in turn possibly slow down. Okay, so let's really dive in deeper with hard disk drive versus SSD, solid state drive. So I use the example of looking up a word in the thesaurus. So let's look up the word uh, ominous. So with a hard disk drive, it is the same as me getting up out of my chair, walking over to a bookshelf, and then picking a book, this thesaurus, off the thesaurus off of the shelf, opening it up and saying, ominous. Okay, ominous means this. Whereas if I go and I have my iPhone, aka my SSD, and I pull out my phone, I search ominous definition search and immediately pops up my definition and Google search zero and I have the term and definition right there. So you can see the physical act of me getting up off of the couch is the physical act of the hard disk drive spinning the platter, searching with the arm and finding the information and then relaying it back to the system. Whereas the SSD goes straight to the information and shows it to me, just like me getting on my iPhone and looking up the word. And as you see, these are very reminiscent of flash drives or thumb drives. And this is very reminiscent of a old computer part that uses this spinning disk to find the information with that arm. All right, so I hope that is a clear definition that has worked very well to explain it in the past um, with my other channel. So SATA SSD, so SATA uh, for short, is the storage drives, SATA for storage drives was developed for hard drives. So when the solid state drive came onto the market, they adopted the same interface so users could easily upgrade their storage drive. So this is where SATA comes from and they transferred it onto the new technology 
here. So whenever you tell, ask somebody, you know, hey, I want to improve the speed of my computer. I, I, what should I do? You know, oftentimes swapping out a hard disk drive and then putting in a solid state drive is going to improve the speed of their computer. So they can do that by using a SATA solid state drive, not an M.2, because this takes some adaption to your system. So you can do a swap out of a hard disk drive to a solid state drive, and that would be a good move. You will not be able to easily move over to an M.2, and we'll talk about that in a minute, because you need the cable connectors that are in your computer to connect from this one to this one. I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I'm just trying to really emphasize the point of which one is swappable. A hard disk drive is able to be swapped by an SATA SSD drive. Okay, keep moving forward. Okay, so what is NVMe? What is that technology? Well, NVMe <clears throat> is data read straight from a PCI slot right onto the motherboard using these NVMe data connectors. So it's very similar to how RAM connects to a motherboard. So the real advantage of the PCIe interface is the ability to transmit data on up to four lanes, so in greatly in increasing your speeds, similar to how RAM connects to the motherboard, as I just mentioned. This is where your RAM memory would go. So you see it connects directly into the motherboard. And this is a desktop motherboard. This is not necessarily what it will look like in a laptop, but it's the best, clearest picture of this, uh, understanding this information. For instance, there's where the CPU goes, so on and so forth. These are the M.2 PCIe connector slots, okay? So this is where the drive would connect directly into your motherboard. So it's a direct connection, which makes way faster speeds. Okay, so what is this M.2? The M.2 is the physical form factor of the storage device. It is not another protocol or technique on how the storage transfers data. So by protocol, I mean NVMe or SATA SATA. You can get an M.2 drive that uses either SATA or NVMe. So if you can have either on an M.2, what is the difference? Well, they use different host controllers. So the M.2 on the SATA drive uses a SATA 3, and it relies on an advanced host controller interface, or an AHCI, before a hard disk or an SSD can communicate with a computer system. So it must go through the host controller before it then reaches the computer system or the motherboard. Whereas the PCIe relies on a host controller called a non-volatile memory, non memory express. So it's a lot faster. It's a direct connection from the device, the storage, to the motherboard. So that's why you remove the bottleneck of this advanced host controller interface using the data power and using, not the data power, using the power connector and the data connector, and you jump straight into the motherboard. So it's a faster system. Here are the typical storage speeds of devices. The average um, read and write speed of a 720 RPM, 7200 RPM hard drive, which is the spinning disk and the eye that reads, is around 80 to 160 megabytes per second. A SATA 3 SSD, which is this guy here, or this guy here, is going to read and write at around 550 megabytes per second. Whereas the NVMe SSD, this guy right here, and you can see the difference in the connectors, is going to read and write at an average speed of 3,500 megabytes. So the speeds are far faster as the technology has improved, obviously, but here's the differences on average that you're going to see. So you just swap out the SATA for an NVMe, right? Not necessarily. As I mentioned early, earlier in the video, the HDD hard disk drive and the SSD solid state drive were the ones that were made semi-compatible. So what you want to do is you want to switch out your hard disk drive if you're looking to get better speeds with a similar form factor SATA SSD. That's going to be the direct switch. That's going to be the easy change. Using an M.2 drive is going to take some modifications to your components and actually a lot of computers aren't necessarily compatible with M.2. It's more than newer laptops. So look into your specs, find out what your computer can do. Do a quick Google search and find out if your computer is able to make that switch. 
So that's all we have today for solid state drive versus HDD versus SATA versus MVME versus PCI and all that jazz. And I hope that you so that's all we have today, and I hope you have a better understanding of hard disk drives versus solid state drives. And if you have any questions, please comment below. I'm always happy to answer them down in the comment section. I'm Benji Kaiser, and you've been watching Don't Tech With Me, and I'll see you here on the next episode.